Well, uh, you know, credit to, to Alex. He played played very well, especially in the third set, you know, in the second part of the third set. It made me work for, for my victory in the third set. You know, he played he played really well and he was handling himself uh, very good there mentally, you know, hanging in there. I served for the match, you know, he broke me. He's a very nice, very nice guy. We practiced with each other a few times, uh, actually during the US Open some years ago. And uh, we obviously, you know, we speak the same language. He has a Serbian background, so uh, we get along really well. Uh, I met his family and uh, very nice people. And, you know, he's trying his best and, and I think he, he's got the game. He's got the game, no doubt, to, um, uh, to go far, how far, you know, it depends on various things. Um, but, um, you know, I was uh, pleasantly surprised with his level, uh, considering he hasn't played maybe that much on clay. I mean, he probably, I think he, I saw somewhere that he said that <clears throat> he was training in Serbia until he was around 10 years old, 11 years old and in, on clay, because most of our courts are on clay in Serbia. But later on, then he went to States and, and he spent most of his time on hard courts. So it's, um, you know, he played, he played really well. Novak Djokovic started his bid for a men's record 23rd Grand Slam singles title with a straight sets victory over Alexander Kovacevic in the French Open first round. The two-time Roland Garros champion held off a late rally from his American opponent on court Philippe Chatria to clinch a 6-3, 6-2, 7-6 victory. He has still not lost in his opening match of a major since the 2006 Australian Open. I want to dominate whoever I play against regardless of the circumstances and who is across the net. But sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, said Djokovic after kicking off his 19th consecutive French Open campaign. It was after his opening round victory however that Djokovic caused a stir when he wrote a message on the lens of the TV camera as he walked off court. Kosovo is the heart of Serbia. Stop violence, Djokovic wrote as the message was displayed on the big screen. The situation in Kosovo has been increasingly fraught in recent times after Serbia put its military on high alert and announced troops were being sent to the border. The 36-year-old addressed his message and the ongoing situation in his home country during his post-match press conference. I am not a politician and I have no intention of getting into political debates, Djokovic said. As a Serb, it hurts me what is happening in Kosovo. Our people have been expelled from the municipalities. I feel the responsibility as a public figure to show support, and I especially feel it as the son of a man who was born in Kosovo. This is the least I could do. I feel an obligation to show support for our people and all of Serbia. I think many do not know what the future holds for Kosovo, but it is important to show harmony in situations like this. I hear there was a lot of criticism on social media. I don't know if someone will punish me or something like that. But I would do it again. I am against wars and conflicts of any kind. Kosovo is our hearth, stronghold, the center of the most important events. The biggest battle took place there, the most monasteries. There are many reasons why I wrote this.